Aeolus hovered in the air, making his Tai Chi movements, relaxing every muscle in his body, while his long hair blew with the wind. It was effortless. This was his gift and passion, to dance among the sky. As he was delighting in his movement, with his eyes closed, he sensed a presence. Opening his eyes, he saw something straight in front of him. A huge bird, the size of a phoenix, hovering before him. It looked characteristically between a hawk and that of a crow, yet a whole lot bigger. His nose was almost touching Eolos's. The bird was moving and hovering with him, staring at him with his blue piercing eyes. Eolos stood there amazed, relaxed, with a sense of fondness for this exquisite creature before him. He felt as if he was part of him, his other half, as his black and white feathers blew in the wind along with Eolos's hair. He had never seen such a creature in Irenia. After a few moments, Eolos naturally felt drawn to climb onto this creature. Eolos gently grabbed a hold of his side wing and made his way upon his back. With no resistance, they stood still there like that for a few moments, enjoying the wind. Connected by something unspoken, they then swooped away, flying through the sky. The euphoric, natural comfort that Eolos felt was like no other, as if he was his body. Two souls within one body. Flying through the mountains, Eolos had a feeling to stand up as the creature stopped and hovered in the air. Eolos began moving his hands in his Tai Chi movements. Then, something amazing happened. The bird began to move and flap his wings in unison with Eolos's, as if they were his hands. After a few moments, Eolos began to move his feet with his entire body, and the bird began to move with him, turning and twirling sideways and upside down, while Eolos stood upon him focused as a most breathtaking glorious dance emerged in the sky. They moved in such synchronicity as the wind assisted in the fluidity of their bodies. A dance among Eolos, the bird, and the wind. This spectacular experience went on for several moments until the dance gracefully came to an exhilarating end and they landed ever so lightly in the earth below. This was the most transcended Aeolus had ever felt. The wind then gave them a gush through the trees, blowing leaves into the air, assembling letters in mid-air. Eolos stood watching as more letters slowly appeared in the sky. It wrote, Eolos placed his hand tenderly on Zephyros's head, grateful to have had this life experience with him, and have him come into his life. This was the beginning of an extraordinary partnership 